Coach, just give us start things off with the, with the open statement on the game today. Yeah, I think first of all, I, I'm really proud with our effort. I, I thought we did a lot of things just effort-wise, especially finishing the game. I thought we were, we were as intense as we could be. Uh, I give UTEP a lot of credit. I mean, they did a tremendous job of scoring. We just had a difficult time stopping and scoring. Um, you know, we, we felt like we had to contain them a little bit on the board. You know, overall, uh, we did a pretty good job with their offensive rebounds compared to what they normally do, but um, they just wouldn't mess at times. And we had that one span in the second half where we couldn't make a shot, and they got some, some transition baskets, and that, that got the lead, and um, you know, we just couldn't respond. I mean, you said going into the game, you knew they'd be coming in, and they, would, they led the, the conference in points and rebounds per game. Um, did a pretty good job of controlling them in the first half for the most part, but kind of got away from you there early in the second. Yeah, I mean, they just, their, their transition, the transition offense when we missed shots, um, you know, they just got so many easy looks. And uh, it happened in a very quick span, and they, they can score very quickly. And you're right, we control the tempo in the first half. I thought we controlled the tempo a little bit, in that, that probably 10 minutes in the second half, but when they busted it open, it was all, it was all them. Now, obviously, Kayla Thornton, look at her numbers, big day for her 29 points, 18 rebounds, plus some um, eyeball stats here and there, four assists, three steals. I mean, she kind of really set the pace for UTEP today. She did. I mean, she's a great athlete. She can run the floor very, very well. Uh, first half, we, we put her to the free throw line a little too much. Um, she doesn't miss free throws. So um, yeah, that was something we tried to change. Second half, we did a better job with her there. But, you know, just her uh, keeping her off the offensive boards was, was difficult. Eight offensive rebounds really contributed to a lot of her points. Obviously, uh, you tapped to the big number, Jones the page at you. 11 of 22 from the three. Tulane, three of 27. Um, right. Coming into the game, Tulane was the Lead, Converse USA leader in three point percentage, and this wasn't your day behind me. We had looks, you know. We um, th there was times that maybe we forced some, but for the most part, we had good looks. I mean, they they were putting a lot of pressure on our guards. We had a hard time getting into our post players in that little span there, but uh, we had good looks at the basket um, and just couldn't hit the shots that we normally hit. Uh, I mean, I, I, I did think our post, you know, Tiffany when she touched it in there, she was able to score, and we just couldn't get it in there enough. Well, Day Day, just a uh, no, tough game today. Obviously, UTEP's a very good team. Always a good game when the two teams play. Just talk about the way things went out there in the floor in the second half. Um, well, the second half, they came out. They hit a lot of shots. Um, it's like they couldn't miss. Um, we didn't get back on transition defense. They got some buckets there. Um, we had some turnovers on them. Um, we just, uh, they just played really well. I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's really well. It's, it's one game, obviously, and uh, you got a lot more basketball left to play. How do you bounce back from a game like this? Um, we have to, like, learn from this game. Take this game into consideration. Go to the gym, shoot more, um, and when we go to our next game, just play better. Just, like, use this as motivation. And Tiff, obviously, another good day offensively for you. Eight of nine from the field, uh, 18 points, one rebound shy on a double-double. Just talk about your effort today and, and just the way your team played against you, Tiff. Um, I definitely went out wanting to win this game. Uh, we knew that Thornton was going to be a big threat. We knew 14 was going to be a big threat. So we definitely tried to keep her off the boards. Um, we went in, definitely should have played hard. I mean, we came out hot, and then they just came back taking quick shots, getting hot as well. Um, the second half, that, like Dana said, they came out, and they just could hit shots, and we couldn't get back in transition defense. But we will use this game, like they said, to learn the lesson for the next game. Um, rebounding battle today, UTEP 53, Tulane 40. I mean, that's a that's a big gap, and it's, it's tough to overcome that kind of thing. Yeah, it is. Um, like we said, Thornton was a big girl. We should have definitely not took her for granted and boxed her out. I, mean, the, the, I was proud of our. We created turnovers. You know, with 20 turnovers they they had, and we had 10. I, I thought that was a good stat that could even up. Um, the rebounds, but um, we just didn't shoot the ball well enough. So that that was that was pretty key. I said, look at the turnovers. Also, they had 15 in the first half, mm -hmm. and I want to say that for the first 16 minutes, like they didn't have any in the second half. What what did they do differently? Was just intensity? Well, I think the point guard was a foul trouble in the first half. We tried to take advantage of that. Um, in the second half, again, we we couldn't really set our presses because we weren't making shots, and um, you know that that keys a lot of that. Um, but again, I I thought that. Yeah, you know, we're not a team that creates a lot of turnovers, but I thought we were really aggressive defensively and created some that, that kept us in it. Halfway point through the conference sure say season six and two. Yeah, I think pretty happy with the way your team is right now. Hey, and we you know, we're six and two. We've had we've had a tough schedule. We played a lot of teams up toward the top of it. Um, you know, obviously at this point lost to East Carolina in this one, but um, yeah, those are the teams that are, are probably gonna be up there. You know, we gotta take this next eight games and um, try not to slip and you know, we, we still have sights on our goals. I mean we wanna we want a championship in one way or the other and I, I think this, this game, we'll, we'll learn, we'll bounce back, and uh, we'll be better for it. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Thanks, guys.